thinking of, of life on the road, uh, I think it was Keith Richards would say that, you know, the, the problems don't happen on the road. The problems like heroin addiction, that happens when you get home. Can, can you talk about, if you're living half of your life on the road, mm -hmm. the problem of coming home? Probably coming home. Well, I, I don't agree with Keith, Keith Richards. Um, I, I think uh, on the road there's a lot of downtime, and what do you do with that downtime? You know, um, did you fill it with something like, like you know, do, are, are you an avid reader? That's a really, really good thing to be doing on the road. Uh, do you take an interest in nature? Okay, well, you, you can look look in at you know the the um, you know the the ladder backed um, woodpecker, you know, for flying past the van. Um, but, you know, there's things, you know, oh, we're going to, you know, Rochester, New York, that's an interesting architecture there. Let, let's have a look at that. Um, so, so if, if you fill yourself up in those ways, then you, you don't hit the, the, the boredom factor, you know. Uh, and I, I think a lot of people get into drugs uh, through, through boredom on the road uh, more than anything else. Meaning n not letting that boredom that leads to heroin come into the picture. Yeah. Have, well, have you improved well, you your skills? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know, I, I used to drink a lot on the road. Uh, when I was in Fairport Convention back in the 60s, 70s, um, uh, we were a hard-drinking band. We didn't do drugs that much, uh, but, um, you know, but, but that was around as well, so, so there was a bit of that going on. But, but mostly well, we just drank, and, and that um, occupied um, lots of time um, on the road, uh, and a lot of our attention was taken up with, with drinking. Um, when, I, when I stopped drinking in, like, 73... Um, that, that's when I had, had to really develop um, uh, uh, other interests. <laughs> <laughs> God, well yeah. put.